So I tested Amazon office desks, basically the ones that had really good reviews. I picked up a few of them. I've brought them home. I've put them together. I've spent time with them to see if they're actually any good. You can see here a montage of basically what's to come. In the video chapters, you'll see each section broken down. There's a budget table a desk. There's a L-shaped desk. There's a, a single desk different levels of pricing also i made a gaming setup with one of them so make sure you check out the chapters and let's start looking at these desks and see which ones are going to be good for you amazon have loads of desks but is this the best one you can buy first of all i'm going to show you a quick overview of how i put the desk together it's not a guide it's just letting you know what to keep an eye out for so with the actual setup itself i got all the parts in the box nicely labeled everything had good instructions on i would say you can look at about 45 to 30 minutes to put it together to give you a little baby screwdriver in there with it but you you can put it together easily quite simply by using the instructions everything seems to be straightforward just keep an eye on the top once you put the top on it goes on one way if you put it on the wrong way there's a slight lip that doesn't really fit on so a little bit about this desk it's a computer desk and it's designed for writing it's got two shelves on the left or right when you're making it you can adjust that it's got a nice firm base and it's got enough support there to be solid in its settings it's made to an industrial feel and it's a nice wide setup so you can actually use it for a number of different situations your measurements on this i normally give the measurements as numbers but i'm hoping that with this video you can actually see it in its footprint and how it looks it's 120 centimeters by 60 by 75 centimeters so that gives you a good overall feel of it and the top is particle board with a nice cover so it's not solid wood however at this price range it is a budget option that works very well the measurements of the shelf units it's 59 centimeters by 23 centimeters roughly you can't really get a computer base unit in the side shelf the desk is very strong so you can easily get 20 kg plus on this a couple of good gaming monitors a good base unit the way the desk is made it actually is suitable for a clamp to go on the back so if you have monitors where you can clamp them to the back if you have a big enough clamp you should be able to get it on this nice and easily the good thing about this desk it is actually flush so all the way around there's no overhang so it can go up right against the wall the top Okay, so let me show you the first setup. I've basically got the desk as a main working from home type of desk. You can see it's nice and wide. So I'm going to come in as a normal office day type situation. I've got my bag with me. I've got my laptop. See how we go here and see how easy it is. So I actually use this laptop um, regularly so I know how it feels on different desk sizes and if it feels comfortable. So I'm going to put my little SSD on the back there, NVMe SSD that I made myself. That is very, very lightning fast. And we've got our little standard things. Always have a lot, a lot of fluid with you. So I've got my fluid bottle there, a little notepad. And we've got a nice slot in the side of this for storing our bag, which is going to be great. I've got my little mouse there, which I normally plug in to give us that extra bit of functionality for that odd game here and there. And yep, so we've got our little bag there, Billingham Hadley Pro. I'm going to strap that in the side, which is a nice place to store the bag, actually. And the shame about this is I can't fit, if I had a tower unit, you can't fit a tower down there because the shelves are split in two. So overall, the desk has got a nice deep uh, center. It's got enough space there to actually comfortably get the laptop in the middle with probably two monitors either side and a, lap, uh, a keyboard and a mouse. So it's nice and like it. This desk has to be one of the favorites. It's a, a big seller on Amazon. So I wanted to see how it works. I've used it in a number of scenarios. I've taken the table apart, put it back together and moved it in three different spots. So I know the table inside out now, more or less. So here we've given you a little example of this setup. Let's move away from this and see what else can we do on this desk now. So I want to be able to see if the desk can work in multiple ways. So if you've got a laptop and you're lightweight, that's fine. If you're doing some drawing or you're doing some crafting, it's still a great table, very solid. You can't really move it much. So if you're doing writing or painting or crafting and you don't want a table that's wobbly, this is the table for you. It has got the feet where you can actually position them. So screw them out. So it actually levels it off and it stops it moving. If you have got a, a dodgy one or a floor's uneven even. The floor's uneven even. You get it? Oh yeah. So yeah, this is the first setup. And I'm going to move over to a couple of other setups. I'm sharing this with you. Again, in the chapters, I have linked to everything. So make sure to check that out if you want to just jump to the right bit. So next setup here, I've got an additional monitor. I'm going to get a laptop dock and see how that works for us. So the dock is for a ThinkPad and you can actually dock it down so the computer 
uh, is then usable with the monitor. So this is a bit more real estate because obviously I'm using a bit more of the desk here. And again, the well cable management would be a good thing here because obviously you can put it in the place where you want it. So with the base you can see there is nice and even the desk i like this wooden effect it feels very natural and good if you have a large mouse mat it'll work very nicely on there like a table mat and um, but this is not the ideal setup for this desk these are the two setups i used i've taken everything off the desk let's actually go into the main event of the day so i've taken it to my additional room the small room not everybody's gonna have really big rooms so you can see it fits nicely in the corner with that tall filing cabinet i'm gonna put all my bits and bobs together I've got my wide gaming monitor um, with additional fan to keep us cool, keyboard mouse and my gaming PC which is custom built, bit of a beauty, check out the other video about that. And of course, trusted creators, thank you for allowing me to make this video with my own honest opinion and moving the desk around as I wanted, checking it out in multiple ways. So here you'll see I've got my setup there with a slight gaming scenario, got the gamepad, got the headphones, got the camera, what else do you need? Party and here we go checking it out i have used it sitting down with a chair this chair is my favorite chair now the chair i'm using here make sure to check out my other video about the chairs where i tested out three amazon famous chairs that are selling well and which one is actually good best budget desk for small room so this one is going to be a good option if you've got a smaller location and you're looking for something a little bit more condensed I've done a couple of these desks from Amazon where I've checked them out and had a look at what works best. But if you have a smaller room, you're going to want something smaller. So thank you to Trusted Creators for allowing me to make this video independently with my own views. I've used this desk in a few scenarios to give you my review and see how that works out. So this is a type of writing desk, computer desk. Luckily, it does have its little drawer that you can pull out. It's not the most expensive desk, but I like to always give you a few options for cheap versus expensive. With over 25,000 reviews on Amazon, I had to pick this one up to make sure and see, is it as good as they make it out to be? So I'm gonna actually look through this as a normal desk. It is a budget option and it's called multi-purpose. It could be a little makeup stand, it could be a drawing desk, it could be a laptop desk, or it has got the pull-out drawer for a keyboard. So there's multiple uses. So overall, this is a good option if you want something cheap, small, because not everybody will have really big rooms. So this fits nicely in the corner, out the way, where it won't be intrusive on your room. It'll just be a work desk. Measurements wise, you're looking at 100 millimeters width and 39 depth and about 86 height. Not exact, but you can check the details in the description to see the actual listing and the price on this. Overall, it's quite sturdy. It's made out of a chipboard type particle board with a nice coating on. It comes in a number of colours. The colour I've got here is not the best, to be honest. The black looks quite nice in this, so do check that out. Um, they were out of stock in black, so I thought I'm going to get this one. And the cards, you'll see the other desks I was able to review. Let's use it as a daily option and see what's going on. So here I'm using in the same spot that I checked other desks on. I've done a number of these you may have seen on the channel, so make sure to check out the other ones. There's a few different options if you want something a bit bigger or smaller. So I like the fact that it's got enough space there to do the essentials. So if you're writing, if you've got a laptop, it works well. If you've got a dual monitor setup, it might be a bit tricky on this because one of the sections is higher than where my bag is. You'll notice that's smaller than the upper section where my laptop is. But if you had a monitor, you could put it in the upper section and put your laptop in the lower section in a dock, so that could probably work. Um, it is a nice overall feature-rich option. The reason I say that is it's very like multi-level and it looks quite fancy. A bit of a, not a nightmare, but it was more tricky to put together because there were more parts. And it is all wood. Um, when I say wood, I'm talking particle board type of wood. So I'm not seeing this as the best quality desk, as in if you're going to dismount it and remount it in multiple locations if you live like in an apartment or you're constantly moving around i don't think it'll handle that very well and um, just from the nature of it but if you're staying in one spot and it's going to be there all the time it is actually a nice option so i could see this for like a children's home working desk a little desk with light uh, laptop work a makeup stand you can use it for drawing loads of different scenarios that you could use it in I like the fact it's got multiple layers height wise it's got different sections it's got the laptop tray and you can put a little base unit in there as well. If you don't have a really big computed base, you can put it in there. 
it will handle it quite nicely and the best thing is it's nice and small so it'll fit in most locations which is the best bit about this which is really like interesting because a bigger desk can be a bit nightmare moving around finding a spot for it but if you have a small box room a small apartment office then this will work nicely in the corner out of the way and it'll work quite good for you and again with the chairs there's multiple options make sure you get a good chair i did do a video about chairs when i tested three from amazon is this the best l-shaped corner desk on amazon well i brought it and i'm gonna have a look thank you for trusted creators for allowing me to make this video independently with my own opinions so you can see a quick overview here of the setup and i'll show you how i used it and set it up Got a dark wood type feel to it it's a nice l shape and very sturdy if you have an open space living environment it will work very nicely there so the desk itself fits nicely into the corner. You'll see here, I've used it in the corner of the room just to give you an idea. It has got two shelves as well. So first up, let's have a nice look around the desk and feel it. So I'm gonna form full pressure. In this center corner, just where I'm pushing, there's no actual center support in the leg form, but it has got a certain intersection of metal frames that keep it sturdy. So overall, I am quite impressed. For a large desk, I thought it would be a lot more flimsy and move a move around when you kind of work on there but it's it's actually turned out quite decent so let's use it as a day-to-day -day setup now so we're gonna i use this over a couple of days in different scenarios to kind of give you an overview review on it so i like the fact that you can use it in two different setups like this side here is blank when i'm putting my laptop i can actually use this as a live streaming location and on the left hand side you could have your main computer so you can actually use the monitors on that there so it doesn't obstruct your view if you're recording videos for example and um, in addition to that you have got side shelves which are quite handy to put your bag away in and additional things like mixing boards if you're doing any type of camera work you can put extra lenses cases down here so it works out quite nicely um, what's the best things about this desk well the frame is very sturdy I think I could use this as a nice option in the corner where I can set up a live streaming desk and have my laptop workstation on the right and if you're doing any crafting projects or any putting together of items you can drawing painting kind of thing you can use one side for that and it's got a nice kind of V shape and it is very strong the color of it might maybe a few more color options would have been nice and you will see links to this in the chapter so you can check out the price and see if it's a good option for you for what you're getting it's actually a very decent budget again i'm going to walk around here just to see how it feels this is in the center of this room where i tend to make these videos to help you see it from every angle and every side and it's phillips screws and they go together quite nicely the monitor i could see myself putting two monitors on each side to be honest four monitors and the corner is cut out so when it's up against the wall here you can put a tripod in the corner of the room to have it as a, a light or even a tripod to hold a camera underneath you can see the fittings and the screws that go into the bottom of the wood the wood is particle board so it's not like a, a hard wood solid wood top but you can't really tell it's got a coating on there so it works quite nicely and the leg, legs of it the frames interlock together with screws so it makes that nice and sturdy and I'm thinking this as an option compared to the other desks I have seen on Amazon I'm basically looking at all the options that are available to me I want a nice big one like this I want a small one and then I want a, a mini one for the small room in the house so you'll see all those in the chapters and not in the chapter you'll see them in the cards but here you can see overall the quality of the desk dimensions wise you're looking at 149 centimeters at the longest point each side so if you're using a corner of a room measure along one wall from the corner 149 centimeters either way and that's how long it will be and it's a, a nice option i like it i'm i'm pleased with it when using it it feels like a good quality and you can easily spin on your chair and do different setups and different scenarios on it i might have two monitors on the left hand side but i will do a longer term review this is like my initial review giving you the full setup while it's in its brand new condition and then as i use it more and more i'm going to do one to let you know how it performs over time but if you're looking for a big desk or you've got an office or some type of reception area this could be like a nice entry desk the first desk you come up to because it makes like a bit of a counter setup so it's very nice for that and i've got all my kit here you can see as usual my mouse and my portable laptop setup here that i normally use as the first point of call and then i'll set up the main computer and show you that on a different uh, video with detailed 
how to keep everything tidy and keep your cables managed and everything. So overall, I like the table as a main option and the chair I'm using is the budget option. Again here, let's do a quick walk around on the, the desk itself. So you'll see the supports on the bottom keep the legs tied together and it is a bit fiddly to put together. It all comes in one big box and there's like a few intersections which are like weird. But once you figure it out, it makes sense and then you can screw it together. Just take your time. If you have someone to help you, maybe make it even easier for you. I'm thinking this would be a nice option in my second room. I'm going to clear this room out. I'm going to put in a different room. I'll see you on the next video where I actually looked at more desks and chairs. I have done a number of these and given you these views. So I'll see you on that next video.